Hi, I'm Nika, and today we will be uh, studying the Word of God. And today will, I would like to read Proverbs 15. Proverbs 15. And I will be reading from New King James. Proverbs is, um, Proverbs are uh, uh, the wisdom, they are wisdom uh, written by King Solomon, and there are 31 Psalms, and they're all amazing and wonderful, and they are uh, guidelines, guides, they're guiding us to live daily our life and have a wisdom. So have a wisdom and make common sense, and, and, and we will be studying today Proverbs 15, and I would like to share something also on my own insights. So, Proverb 15. Soft, here, here. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but Perverseness it is, in it breaks the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he who receives corrections is prudent. In the house of the righteous there is much treasure, but in the revenue of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise despise knowledge, but the heart of the fool does not do so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an ab abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but he, but he loves him who follows righteousness. Harsh discipline is for him who forsakes the way, and he who hates correction will die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord. So how much more the hearts of the sons of men? A scoffer does not love one who corrects him, nor will he go the, to the wise. A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him who has understanding seeks knowledge, but the mouth of fool feeds on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he who is of a merry heart has a continual feast. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure with trouble. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a fatted calf with hatred. Fatted calf. A wrathful man stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger awaits contention. The way of the lazy man is like a hedge of thorns, but the way of the upright is a highway. A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy to him who is destitute of discernment. But a man of understanding walks uprightly. Without counsel, plans go awry. But in the multitudes of counselors, they are established. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth. And a word spoken in due season, how good it is. The way of the life wins upward for the wise that he may turn away hell below. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the boundary of the widow. widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the word of pure are pleasant. He who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous studies how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours forth evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but the hearts, but he hears the prayer 
of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. And a good report makes the bones healthy. The ear that hears the rebukes of life will abide among the wise. He who disdains instruction despises his own soul. But he who heeds rebuke gets understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of, the wisdom, of wisdom. And before honor is humility. So I would like to stop a couple, couple things. So we know that this, it's all saturated about fool and wise, about uh, the rebuke, about the tongue. So it's so important for us to take it in, live by it, and, and just take these advices in, in, and uh, apply to our life, daily life. Here, uh, I would like to just, uh, just cut my attention a couple of things. Um, so look, here, I, I like this one. Uh, uh, here, I just lost it. <laughs> the light of the eyes rejoices the heart. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. And a good report makes the bones healthy. So the light of the eyes rejoices the heart. So if we see everything through the light of Christ Jesus, so everything is good. Every, we see things in, uh, through love, through kindness, through, uh, that's called hesed, in the Jewish word, hesed, it's everything is good, through, the, through peace, through, uh, with, with the light eyes, that's mean with, the, with thanksgiving, when we give thanks, when we give thanks, we, we, we praise our Lord, we thank Him, we, we glorify His name for everything we have. Then we see through the light. The, the thanking God brings the light. When, when we start thinking, like if, even, though, even though something is not going right, but when you see things that are going right, things that is going good, you, you say, for, for instance, there is trouble, and you say, but praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I am... Uh, God will give me wisdom and I will fix this. And God is in control. As soon as you just put in, cast all the, um, cast all the burdens upon the Lord for He cares for you. The, when you start thanking God for because He cares for you, all the burdens that He is going to uh, take and, and uh, make it work for you. Then we have the light. He said, the light of the eyes rejoices the heart. So I want to have all this joyful heart. So thanking in the light of the Lord, and thanking and giving to the Lord, to God, Lord is the light, is the light of the world. So then my heart, heart will always rejoice. Yeah? And, and a good report makes the bones healthy. So we need to, we need to learn, our, uh, train ourselves to see a good report, good news, like even though in the midst of a, in the midst of some trials and tri tribulations, we, if we focus and see uh, our eyes, focus on Jesus Christ who is in the midst of that, in doing and helping and taking it on the right hand, and w when we start trusting Him, that's a good report. He says, and a good report makes the bone healthy. I want my bone to be healthy, my bones. I want to walk on, on my healthy bones and my, my legs and I want to have a healthy bone in my arms and in my spine and I want to walk. This, this is how we can take it and have a joyful heart and healthy bones. Yeah? Here, the ear that hears the rebukes of life. The ear that hears the rebukes of life will abide among the wise. So if the, if we like if I if I hear my if I listen to the correction if I hear that the Lord is um, you know you, you know the Holy Spirit will rebuke you Holy Spirit if you went went wrong or people will say people will correct with people will give you some advices that that will help us then if you just listen to them. So he, you will abide, abide among the wise. And I would like to be wise. I would like to learn a lot of things. Learning, learning a lot of, 
uh, gaining knowledge, gaining knowledge in the Word of God, in knowledge of what you do, do your do, do, do diligence on everything you do. It's that you you will abide among the wise. He who disdain instruction despises his own soul. Despises like I don't want to despise my own soul. My soul is a part of me. I'm a spirit. I have soul and soul and spirit lives in this body. So I'm not despising. I'm, I need to, my, my goal is to bring my soul to complete salvation. For, but he who heeds rebuke gets understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. Yeah, just, just taking everything and thanking God is a humility. Thanking God, even the, in, the, in the things that went wrong. Just thank God, Lord. I know that this is, I'm going through something, but thank you that you're, you're watching, you're, you're taking me out of that. You're, 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 uh, you allowed me to go through this uh, trials and temptation, but you are going to take out of because I'm, I'm not walking alone. You are with me. That brings wisdom. wisdom. And uh, we, we would like to be wise, knowledgeable, and uh, just choose things that is... Uh, beneficial for us, good for us, healthy for us. So this, uh, this only a few of them I just mentioned, but we read the whole chapter 15. So meditate in each word. That's ama amazing, amazing instruction for a daily living. So thank you so much for watching. This, is, was, this was Proverbs 15, filled with wisdom of the Lord. And uh, I bless you that may the Lord uh, and his word that dwell in you richly and bear amazing fruits of love of God. Thank you.